Welcome to day 33 of my 100 days of Wafla journey. Today we're diving deep into Linus Smooth Scrolling. So Linus is a smooth scrolling library that allows you to have this smooth scroll that you see here on the screen. You can have this smooth scrolling experience that gives your website this modern feel. Uh, this is trending now amongst award-winning websites and it's something that really makes the experience very much nicer. So we're gonna learn today how to build that on your Webflow website. Now, Linus is a very good library when it comes to smooth scrolling on Webflow because it adapts to different elements on Webflow, like for example, position sticky, so it doesn't break that. The previous libraries used to break position sticky and it didn't work that well, but with Linus, it's built with Webflow in mind, so these problems are easily uh, resolved within Linus Smooth Scrolling. Another thing is that Linus Smooth Scrolling is very light, so it doesn't affect your website performance on the Google Lighthouse, doesn't affect your scores. So that's why it's a really good library to have that smooth scrolling effect on your website. So without further ado, let's jump to it and see how this is built. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey. A lot of cool content is coming on the way. So let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, I will just show you what I have here. I have this project section. So this side is scrollable, this side is sticky. So this is how it looks like. Uh, so you see this this is a scroll section this side is sticky now most the most of the smooth libraries smooth scrolling libraries break on sticky or break the sticky elements so you can't have sticky elements and have smooth scrolling but with Linus you can indeed do that so you can go to Linus.studiofright I'll leave you this link in the description below so Linus.studiofright.com and then you go to their GitHub and this is where it tells you more about how to install it. So we'll just copy the CDN and then we'll go to our project page and then we'll just add the CDN uh, in the header. Maybe we'll add a defer. So a defer just to make sure that it doesn't cause a lot of problems on load time. And then we will need to add uh, the styles so it recommends a bunch of CSS here we can just copy that and add it to let's say our global so I have um, an embed on my page that is global styles and I can add this over there style just make sure you have them in uh, close and open and close style tags on your embed. So now we have styles on our embed. Save and close. And now I will need to call the library. So what I need to do is paste down a script. So I'm gonna use Slater to paste down my script. Since I have Slater connected to my Webflow website, I can actually make changes from here, save to dev without even publishing my website and it will make the my life much easier basically i'll just copy this code i will leave this code for you in the description below i just wrote it down basically i collected out of this uh, elements i collected out of this options some options that i wanted so what i need here not this code actually this is the wrong code this is the previous one so i need this so this might fix it in Safari. This says if workflow editor, yeah, so we'll need that. And then um, I will need this at the end. And uh, looking good to go. So this basically here we can control the speed of the wheel. Uh, we can control the lerp. So the lerp is 0.05. The default is 0 0.1, and I think that's the max. But you can play around with these to have the scrolling feel that you want. Now on mobile, this is uh, false. 
because um, it's not very user friendly on mobile to have uh, smooth scrolling or different type of scrolling because you're already scrolling on mobile with your fingers. But on desktop, it does feel super awesome. So what I'm going to do, I'll need to publish because I made some changes in the, in the page settings here and added some custom code. And then now I can just publish to dev, save this to dev, and it just publishes on my page. And since I say, I'm, I'm saying save to dev, that means it's only the development, which is the .webflow.io domain. So now on our project, we have this smooth scrolling, super nice. It's very nice, making the site look more modern. And I can adjust on that, let's say I want to increase the blurb. I can just save to dev from Slater. And then if I go refresh my page, now I have already one blurb. So it's faster. And if I make it 0 0.01, save to dev, I really need it so slow. And um, yeah, this is basically it. This is basically how you install Linux on your workflow project. Now it's super slow. This is very slow. This is 0 0.1. I think 0 0.05 was, was very good. So I'm going to keep that for now and uh, we'll come back to it. So I'm going to save this to production as well and I'll publish these changes. We can also ensure that the website is performing well, so I'm just going to test it out on page speed and analyze it and see how well it's doing. Yeah, so pagespeed.web.dev is a nice website to give you some uh, performance reviews so you can analyze and see if there is anything wrong. So this is looking good, like, I mean, it's very good for what, what we've done and for such a nice smooth scroll. I think it's worth every every little code we just pasted. So yeah, this is smooth scroll from Linus. Thank you for watching the video. I really hope I taught you something today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Waffler journey. Do subscribe, do turn on that notification bell and we'll see you tomorrow.